Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Peake. I'm the author of Fight Fat After 40, The Stress-Fat Connection. Now, take a piece of paper and a pencil. Write out the word stressed. Now, spell it backwards. There's a reason why stressed spelled backwards is desserts. I'm going to help you make the stress-fat connection because I can guarantee you, you do some very self-destructive things under stress and it usually involves sticking your head in a fridge somewhere. Whenever we look at any daily stress and we then associate it with helplessness, hopelessness and defeat, it becomes toxic stress. Toxic stress leads to self-destructive habits like overeating for women and over-drinking alcohol for men. And where do those extra calories get packed on? You guessed it, in the worst place in the human body, deep inside the belly. Now, remember that fat deep inside the belly, if it becomes excessive, is highly associated with heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. And therefore, you want to avoid that. What are you going to do with all of this information? Well, here are some tips. Number one, men and women do this differently. Now, Women, you wake up every single morning and you write that little how-to list and what do I want to do to be able to solve my problems. By 3 o'clock, the whole thing fell apart. You know what I'm saying. You did fine, you ate well, you probably got in a little bit of exercise, but by 3 o'clock, you're overwhelmed, you're beaten up, and if one more cell phone goes off, you'll become homicidal. How do you fight their urge to self-destruct? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to have a plan. When you feel stressed right around that time, you want to have a great snack, because it's time to eat after all. You're eating every three to four hours. So have a balanced snack, something that's satisfying, ah, oh, calms you down. Don't head for the vending machine. Already have that snack in front of you. It could be something simple, reduced fat crunchy peanut butter on some whole grain crackers. How about a couple of low fat string cheese and an apple? Great combination, and it's all in balance, and it's satisfied. Still feel irritated and stressed out? Get up and move. Science has shown that when you do that, you mix it up in those wonderful brain chemicals such that, ah, you have a better mood. You don't feel quite as depressed. And when you get back to your seat again, you say, well, I may not have solved the ills of the world, but I feel better and less self-destructive. That's the key. And remember, Make a list of all of those things that stress you out. Look at that list hard. Why do you allow that to happen? Change up that job. What about that relationship? You got to sit down and do your homework. Once you've done that due diligence, why, you're not going to be doing that knee jerk into the fridge. Instead, I don't know, those sneakers look pretty good, and so is that healthy snack. So there you have it, the stress-fat connection.